I'm Andrew McPherson. I'm at Queen Mary University of London. Uh, and this here is the Touch Keys. And the Touch Keys are a multi-touch musical keyboard. Now, the idea is that it's a set of sensors that goes on top of an existing keyboard. So here we have this keyboard from Dopfer, uh, onto which I've installed a sensor on each key, which measures the finger position and the contact area. So it'll measure position in two axes. You can see it on the computer screen over here, um, that it'll measure where your fingers are touching along the x-axis and on the y-axis. And the idea then is that it uses this data to transform the sound of each note that you play. So for instance, you can add a vibrato to a note. So. And it's very easy, you just move the finger back and forth in the key. Um, the other thing that we could do, for instance, is to bend the pitch of a note up and down, so... And again, it's very straightforward, you just move the finger up and down on the key surface. And this process of bending the notes is polyphonic, which means that each note we can bend the pitch independently, so... And so, with these sensors, it becomes possible to add the kind of continuous expressive control to every single note that, for instance, a violin player would find very natural with the bow and uh, with the fingerboard. Um, and I, in designing the instrument, I've taken some care to try to make it as familiar as possible for people who already play the keyboard. And so what this means is that the action of the keyboard, for instance, is unchanged. Um, it, the keys still go down and they still move as they normally would. And that additionally, wherever you play the note is going to produce the correct pitch. So for instance, so you don't feel like you have to hit the keys in the right place or they're just not going to work. Um, so you can basically play traditionally and then <clears throat> when you're interested, add additional vibrato or pitch bends just by how you move the fingers around afterwards. So. And another aspect of this is that the mappings from how the fingers move to what happens with the sound is completely flexible. So this works with any MIDI instrument, uh, any sound, and each dimension of touch, the X and the Y position, the contact area, can be assigned to any controller that we want. So we could use it to control the timbre, we could use it to control uh, the pitch, uh, the volume of the note, and all of it is modular in the software that comes with the instrument. So there's quite a lot of possibilities. This is just a really sort of small set of what can be done and uh, it's sort of a limited demo since I'm not myself a keyboard player primarily. So I apologize for that. But uh, I, you know, I think there's many possibilities with this instrument. Um, just to say a little bit about where it's coming from and sort of its availability. A couple months ago, I ran a campaign on Kickstarter to produce instruments and uh, get them out to musicians. So hopefully we can start to see more of these out in the field, out on the stage, in the studio. Um, I'm in the process of building the instruments now from the campaign, and those should ship in the next month or two. And uh, we'll take it from there. So if anyone is interested, then um, my, you know, my contact details should be online at touchkeys.org. Uh, feel free to drop me a line um, and hope to hear from you. Thanks.